Hi, Abe Lincoln's Ghost here, and I'm here to tell you about Reconstruction. After the Civil War, well, I was still president, thank you very much, I started trying to pack the nation back together. I died. I got assassinated. And my vice president, Andrew Johnson, took my place. Frankly, he didn't do too good of a job, but I shall let him tell the story. Confederate Army men. Mm. Mm -hmm. we, they would have been in trouble. You know it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Oh, and, the, and those people that, you know, owned a lot of property and had like $2,000 or $20,000 or more because they had too much power. They're going to be like, we come back in and. Nah, nah, nah. Mm -mm. No. And then Southern states, when they were coming back in, mm -mm, they had to abolish slavery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause my like my old friend Lincoln, you know, we want <laughs> No. Don't interrupt me, Grant. I'll do what I want. Jeez. I, on the other hand, was a great president. I had two terms. Two. You got impeached. Mm. You got impeached because you tried to be a military leader of the South. A dictator. I resent that. I, on the other hand, pushed through the 15th Amendment would allow the blacks to have the right to vote. What did you do? Oh, you got impeached. Uh. Yeah, well, what else did you do? The other thing that I did was the Ku Klux Act, which allowed me to remove habeas corpus so I could investigate people who I thought were part of the Ku Klux Klan, which needed to be a Another thing that I did was I sent troops to Georgia. I thought it was a great idea. Yeah, you thought. I thought it was, but a lot of people weren't too happy about it. Mm -hmm. Then later on in my terms, I removed the troops completely from the South. Mm -hmm. I remember that one. Yep. Sure you do, you old coot. Nah. Well, you guys didn't do much as presidents for all the black people. I mean, I'm from New Jersey, and I tried to do good stuff for all the freed slaves. Oh, I mean, can't turn us. Well, I made St. Catherine's Island. When I tried to get an education to the government, then white Southerners came down and they ran us off our island. So I didn't know what to do. So I ran for Senate. I became Senator of Georgia in 1868. And that was all good until I decided I wanted to resist the KKK, the Ku Klux Klan. Well, that didn't work out too well because all the white people beat me up and then they ran me out of Senate. So, 1868. 
So yeah, a lot of good stuff happening for black people during reconstruction time. Nope. Mm -mm. We all mm -hmm. tried though, we tried to help. Well you didn't do enough. Well you're John Lynch from Mississippi, wasn't there a bunch of discrimination against blacks over there too? Yeah, of course there was. I mean there was black codes. Wasn't Mississippi the first to enforce the black codes? What were they anyway? Yes. Yes, it was. And they were like, hey, yeah, you're free, but not really, sorry. What happened? Well, we were discriminated against. I mean, we weren't allowed to vote. We weren't allowed to do a lot of things that white people were, and it just felt like we were still stuck in a cage. Mm -hmm. Weren't the black coats laws like you had to follow them? Yep. They called us citizens, but we were still treated like slaves. That's a damn shame. Yeah, yeah, it is. Like the grandfather clause. They said, you can vote only if your grandfather, your father, or both citizens. Then you can vote. Mm-mm. Cry and shame. Mm-hmm. Wasn't that horrible? But you know, it made way for a modern world. And since I'm a ghost, I've seen it all happen. Like the civil rights movement, like Martin Luther King Jr. did. If we didn't pass any of those, we wouldn't have gotten that far. Blacks probably would have still been slaves or inferior. But now they're equal to us. Still, there's still a lot of hate. A lot of racism going on here. And they're going through another recon reconstruction movement known as the Civil Rights Movement, led by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. That one was more successful than the one after the Civil War for the fact African Americans are not equal to whites, more or less. They can vote without, they can vote freely, and they have all the rights, and they can make the same wages, supposedly. But, you know, the thing that that really did destroy was integration between schools. Now, everybody can go to the same school. And that was one thing that um, the original Reconstruction did, was create public schools. I am now in a public school, and I have been attending one for a little while just to investigate it for research purposes. And I have found it very helpful. You learn a lot, a lot you didn't know. But there's something wrong with the learning system. They don't inform you from a young age. They really don't. Anyway, I was talking to one of the students earlier about what he, what he thought, America, whether he thought America was equal, like lived up to its idea of equality or not. Certainly before, certainly after the Civil War, it didn't. The Black Code, slavery was, in, slavery was basically there. It, it just didn't work. So. He has his own opinion about equality in today's world. Let's just go over to that interview. Some Americans believe the nation has made major progress in living up to a, the ideal of equality. Do you believe this is true? Why or why not? I don't. Because, okay, so we had the Civil War, now people aren't enslaved anymore. Awesome. Pretty much after the Civil War, things were just as bad for the slaves as they were before. And nowadays, it's like, okay, nobody's really that equal. Because they try to hire people on purpose, depending on what ethnicity they are, like, companies have a quota they have to fill, like, you have to hire this many black people, this many disabled people, this many Hispanic people, so everybody's equal, but it, the only way to be equal is for us to not pay attention to people's race or ethnicity at all, and to just treat them as human beings, we're not doing that, people get special privileges for being blacks or being Native American or anything, I'm not saying that's bad, I'm just saying as long as we still have that, people are going to view everybody as different. Like, I personally don't see any human as different from another one, depending on what color their skin is. But then if you get into female and male equality, females, our society is still extremely sexist. I was just reading about football, and everything, our media, Hollywood, popular culture, music, everything is so extremely sexist. Men are viewed as in power, they have money, they do what they want, and the women serve them, and the women look good and be sexy and stuff. So, I don't think our society is very much more equal than it used to be. Even take into example the Muslim thing, everybody's up in arms about building the mosque at ground zero. It's like, it's not the Muslims' fault that a few crazy Muslims went and blew up our building, the World Trade Center. So, they shouldn't be punished because a few crazy people are doing that. So, we're really not any more equal today than we used to be. Brought to you by...